Rudresh is okay. asking, will crypto save countries with failing currencies like Venezuela, Lebanon, and now? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been watching what's going on in Turkey, but it is freaking scary. I would also like to add Argentina to that list. And yeah, of Iran, if they had free internet, mm -hmm. it could be free. Um, I don't know what you mean by um, save countries, because first of all, we have no idea how blockchain is going to change the world. We just know that it's going to significantly change the world. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know how, we don't know when, we don't know what currencies or what, which technology. The only thing we know that is like, like it's going to change things. It's going to change things significantly. I like, okay, so that's, that's the only thing that we could almost be sure of, right? um because when you say save like if you want to think about hypotheticals when you say save countries it could depends on your definition of save like if 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 the gov if it's challenging the authority of the government um and, but it's giving the individuals more power relative to the government like the government might not see that as saving, but the people might see that as saving. No, let's so again, say saving. Let's 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 simplify this. Let's say saving in terms of preventing hyperinflation, protecting against hyperinflation. So see again, that's a, it. It would protect the people against if it if it is successful at that, it will protect the people against hyperinflation, but it wouldn't protect your currency against hyperinflation. In fact, it would escalate the inflation because people are going to switch from their currency to these alternative currencies so see like it could be devastating to the country's currency but it could be helpful to the people because they don't hold the currency they don't hold the, your country's currencies they're holding cryptocurrency so again see, it's really... people and businesses okay yeah it could it could potentially be very helpful to the people and businesses but it could also be a depending on the country it could be a challenge to the country's to the country's currency right in some in some countries it's, it's there's again and it also depends on the cryptocurrency you're talking about right so for example stable coins could be very very helpful potentially in making the us dollar keep its dominance right mm. like bitcoin could challenge united states yeah so for example if people are predicting again i don't know if any of these predictions are true depending on the cryptocurrency bitcoin could be a challenge to united states dominance but stable coins could actually increase united states us dollars dominance as the world currency right um and it, in fact one challenge to all the all these other countries currencies like fiat money it could be U.S. stable coins because a lot of people who might not even want to hold Bitcoin or Ethereum, they want to have access to dollar and they don't have access to dollar. And through cryptocurrencies and through stable coins, all of these people are now going to have be able to have access to United States dollar. And that might even challenge these countries' native currencies even more than Bitcoin because us dollar is very a, a popular currency to hold and now everybody even people even even the unbanked people are not gonna are not gonna have access to us dollar okay so yeah it might it might say like again and also it, dep it depends on the cryptocurrency you're talking about and it also depends on the country right so in, for example in iran uh cryptocurrency might open the door to a lot of people to be able to save themselves from inflation right because of the falling, you know, because if they have, if they hold cryptocurrency, look at people can't, they can't buy oil, they can't buy real estate, but they might be able to buy some cryptocurrency. It might open the door to the, for that to them, but it also might help the government, right? So uh, the government has access to a lot of fuel that it cannot sell because of sanctions, um, but it could burn it and use the energy to mine Bitcoin and then just sell the Bitcoin and basically bypass all the um bypass all the uh, sanctions right and that way like we're, we're looking at bitcoin as something that might bring the power to the people but in a country like iran it might actually shift the power back to the government right and also in the, in the meanwhile burn all this oil in iran instead of exporting it and just maintain all the pollution right over there right but again 
and they're cutting the internet there so they don't have enough in strong internet to make that financially feasible i don't know it's really hard this is very very yeah each cryptocurrency is going to become like right now everybody is looking at the world of cryptocurrencies as one thing but the future is going to be these will decouple from each other right like and become the, each one of them that that is successful could become its own world that is that is having a completely separate effect effect on the world than the other ones right now they're mm. all the same thing like all oh, cryptocurrencies but in the future the effect of ethereum and the effect of i don't know polygon is going to be completely different and depending on the location is also going to be very different so it's, it's much more complicated than that and then here's a comment or two two comments that i think Armin will be very excited about i don't know if we should give this little little taste music guy saying atheist coin blank name saying we should have an ar bitcoin <laughs> well ar bitcoin we can it would be an ar the, token AR, it would be a token Yes, it was a it token be a built Bitcoin. on Ethereum. Bitcoin is already taken. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so no, yeah, I mean, maybe one day we will make a token. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay, Armin so and I do want to make a token. Yeah, I do want to make a token. Do we really Sneha have to saying, engage with Sneha? I can't deal with Sneha. her. <laughs> Sneha is saying, crypto is the largest scam in this world. I'm not surprised that it originates in the West. Um, yeah, is... not not surprised that it originates in the West from from a set of countries that brought you Sneha, the the West that brought you the internet that you're using right now, that brought you the computer that you're using right now. Like uh, I'm sure the internet was also a scam, who you're using, right now to talk to us. Look how how big of a hypocrite you are, that brought you the cure to this pandemic. By the way, that is going around, right? So. There's that the West that brought you all of that up, right? Yeah, is is this from Sneha? Is it's now from India? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, also brought you democracy. <laughs> also brought your gov your your entire government structure is based on a Western model, Sneha. Everything that makes your country great came from copying a Western model of governance. So maybe you should be a little bit more thankful um so yeah you're well, using also, the internet you're using India computer. Going to have, like, your, me your medicine comes from the west your your knowledge comes from the west your computer comes from the west your internet comes from the west your government comes from the west your entire identity comes from the west maybe you should be a little bit more thankful and here's the thing i actually agree so I'm with the first part uh, somewhat parts of the first part um just like the internet most of crypto is going to crash and burn if that's what you mean by scam um the internet came it went through a dot-com bubble most of what people bet on as being successful 90 percent of it crashed and burned just because most of them was a, like either a scam or something that didn't work that doesn't didn't mean that the technology that brought you all those dot-com bubbles was uh, un useless so we're going to go through a period blockchain technology is going to be extremely useful are we going to have a lot of scams yes is 90% of the things that we're seeing that there's a hype around is going to is going to fail? Yes. Just like the dot com bubble. Does that mean that they just does that mean the blockchain technology is going to be useless? No, it's still going to change the way we do everything. It's still going to be extremely useful even though 90%, more than 90% of everything that people are betting on is going to fail. Just like the internet, just like people thought internet was a fad just because we went through the dot com bubble and now the entire world every single conversation that we're having most of the conversation is happening on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and everything. We have Amazons, we have Airbnb, we have Uber. So in the internet was not a fad. Blockchain is not a fad. Specific cryptocurrencies are a fad, but the tech underlying technology under it is not a fad. Isn't also, India this is not financial. This is not a financial advice. Oh yeah. Not a financial, not financial advisor. Not is, financial. Didn't India put all sorts of restrictions on crypto recently? Or they were what? going to? I thought India put India, a bunch of restrictions and regulations. No, no, on India, India actually did good. India was like, um, didn't ban it. So what you want is you want regulations, right? So well, you do like, wait, you do. So India was good. So people thought India was going to ban cryptocurrency, but they didn't. They just came with saying that we need to regulate. Okay, it. that's awesome. And actually, 
and the regulate so it didn't go to China. so here's another thing india thank you for the government of india for not going the china route and just banning everything um uh so india did, did made the right decision the regulations on cryptocurrency is actually going to help cryptocurrency okay because if you don't have regulations on cryptocurrency then in institutional investors can't get involved um if you do re have regulations on cryptocurrencies then the institutional investors are going to feel like more is, is going to legalize the process for them that they would get involved and it's going to increase the mass adoption of, of cryptocurrencies yeah well, what I was going to say was I hope that India, you know, um, adopts this technology because it has it has the potential and already is lifting thousands of people out of poverty. So, yeah, technically, um, you can't really we're going to get to a place where you can't ban cryptocurrency. Like yeah. um, right now, the main the main way you could uh, enforce uh, rules against it is going to be through the exchanges. At some point, all the exchanges are going to be decentralized and you could put all the laws in the world against them and they're going to just be in the background. Yeah. Um, so I'm say, saying, yes, India has been imposing stiff punishment for using crypto. No, guys, if you actually see what they did is they didn't ban it outright. So that was a good thing. Anyways. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.